Hi guys, it's Angragi here and today I want to notify you that a few days ago there has been new ransomware found uh, which attacking both Windows and Linux VMware ESXi servers. Malware Hunter team tweeted a few days ago that they discovered a new ransomware called Red Alert or N13V. The new ransomware has been called Red Alert and because there is a line in the ransom note um, which says Red Alert note. However, the malicious actors called the operation N13V. N13V. And you can see that on this screen from bleeping computer. Now, they found a Linux decryptor and it shows that it's targeting VMware ESXi a house and virtual machines because it only attacks the files associated with VMware ESXi virtual machines including log files, swap files, virtual disk and memory files and this is the list, there you are. So as you can see dot log dot vmdk dot v, vmem uh, vswap and vmsn now if you will get unlucky and you will get encrypt you will see that the file name extension has been changed and it's appended now to dot crypt and the number and um, this number is extension of the file name and as you can see again from the screenshot provided and um, by bleeping computer and the files looks like this um, host the dot log dot crypt five uh, six five eight uh, server and uh, vmdk dot crypt six five eight and so on and so on now what's interesting about this um ransomware is that it's using a uh, command line operators and that allows to perform different uh, procedures. And if you have a look on the list, which I'll show you now, you can see that there is a parameter W, and if the ransomware will be run with that argument, uh, the encryptor will shut down all running VMware ESXi virtual machines using the following ESXi command line. Here you are. Now, it will shut down them before encryption happens. When encrypting files, the ransomware utilizes the N-True Encrypt public key encryption algorithm, which supports various parameter set that offer different level of security. An interesting feature of that new ransomware is an X command line operator that performs asymmetric cryptographic performance testing using different and true encrypt parameter set. Now, as for today, as for 12th of July, we don't know uh, how those parameters are enforced or if the malicious actor can enforce parameter uh, or ransomware is doing itself. Uh, that is not clear yet. Now, if you will get, uh, if the ransomware find a way to your environment and encrypt your virtual machines, in each folder you will get a ransom note. And the file is called how underscore to underscore restore, how to restore. And in that uh, readme file, um, there's a lot of information for you. You will find there uh, how to contact uh, uh, those criminals and how to pay um, for the ransom. As we can see on the screen now, um, we can read that hello and there's a victim address. Your network was penetrated. We have encrypted your files and stole a large amount of sensitive data, including, and there's a list of what they achieved, and more. However, um, the criminal says that encryption is reversible so as you can see in the note and uh, they offer you to purchase a special decryption software 
However, they say the payment includes the crypto key and ensure of stolen data. So it's a bit different than a double extortion model because usually once you pay, you have to pay twice. You have to pay for the key and then you have to pay to ensure your data are um, not leaked. But um, let's have a look what else. Um, the S you have uh, instructions in the file uh, how to download the Tor browser, how to launch it, and there is a website. Uh, there is a website for victims, and those malicious actors says that on our website uh, you will be able to purchase the crypto, chat with our so-called support, and decrypt few files for free. If you won't contact us in 72 hours, we will start publishing stolen data in our blog part by part, DDoS side of your company and call employees of your company. Uh, I am wondering what that call would like and um, hello, we have your company. Uh, if you were in that situation, please let me know in the comment section or contact me uh, over the Twitter at AngriSysops, please. Now, what they say is, we have analyzed financial documentation of your company, so we will offer you the appropriate price. Yes, <laughs> I'm wondering. Now, to avoid the data loss and rising of the additional costs, don't modify um, content of encrypted files, don't inform local authorities about the incident before the end of our deal, don't hire recovery companies to negotiate with us. We guarantee that our dialogue will remain private and third party will never know about our deal. And on the bottom is Red Island Unique Identifier Start. That's why um, researchers called that ransomware Red Alert. As by the researchers, the payment uh, side is similar to all other ransomware. Uh, operations. However, um, Red Alert or N13V accept only Monero cryptocurrency, uh, which is uh, uncommon um, because this crypto is not common in US because it's privacy code. As so far only Linux and uh, crypto has been found, the payment side has some indication, has some hidden elements showing that the windows the crypto also exists the researchers says that the red alert um, is conducting double extortion attack which again i remind you is paying twice for the key and for not leaking your data however in the ransom note says it's a one payment um i don't know um if you know please let me know in the comment section and so far on the page uh, where they're leaking the data, um, there is only one organization. So that including, and that gives us, give us a hint that the operation is quite new and we may hear more of it. Um, yes, guys, um, so here you are, um, new ransomware, red alert uh, N13V, if you like. Uh, please keep your environment up to date and um, don't install any third party tools unless it's really, really necessary. Keep your environment up to date. You don't install third party tools. Uh, keep your network segregated. Keep your lockdown mode on SSH off. Uh, okay. And for the rest of the tips, I will post the article, uh, read my blog, angrysysops.com. And guys, subscribe to my channel. Leave a like under that video and see you in the next. Bye.